Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. Here are some examples of the makeup I like to do on a daily basis. And by daily basis, I really mean anytime I actually feel like putting makeup on. Because some days I just rock the no makeup look. Anyways, let's get right into it. I like to start off with an illuminating primer. I love a yummy, dewy, glowy base, so I always have to do really good skin prep to achieve that. And an illuminating primer really gives me that look. Look at the glow. And to really boost that glow, I always like to go in with a bit of a skin tint. Some days I go in with foundation, but I really have been loving skin tints recently. They don't give much coverage, but that's what concealer's for. <laughs> but don't get it twisted, I do love a full coverage base sometimes. Slapping that in. <laughs> I don't think this does anything, but I always do it. Before I dive too deep into the rest of the makeup routine, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Audible. I love listening to true crime when I'm getting ready. Audible has hundreds of thousands of different titles from many different genres, and the app makes it super easy to listen anytime, anywhere, regardless of what you're doing. I like to switch between a few different podcasts, but my favorite right now is Murder, Mystery, and Makeup. And you can visit audible.com slash truly, or you can text truly to 500-500 to try Audible free for 30 days. Something really cool as well is that you can change the speed at which the reader is reading, which is actually really helpful. Helpful. Once you sign up for Audible, let me know what your favorite audiobook or podcast is. Moving on to liquid blush. Don't let this purple color scare you. I swear it's gonna look a lot more natural than it's looking right now. Once you blend it in, it doesn't really look purple. I tend to go really heavy handed with the blush, so sometimes I like to do it before concealer because concealer can help it tone it down. Bear with me, I swear, I swear. Trust the process. Going in with a little bit of concealer now. I always say a little bit, but it ends up being a lot. And I typically just blend it in with a brush or my fingers. I haven't really been using beauty sponges recently. See, it's all coming together, slowly but surely. Now, sometimes I skip this step, but right now I'm gonna powder my under eyes because I feel like they're gonna crease. I don't know, it's just a feeling. Also, I find my makeup lasts a lot longer if I do set my face. I still wanna keep my cheeks glowy, so I'm gonna set everywhere but my cheeks. Sometimes I skip wing liner, but today I'm gonna do a baby wing. It's gonna be so tiny. <laughs> just like this oh my gosh i'm actually obsessed with this no wonder it's my everyday makeup i got a bit of a bump going on on my eye so let's just ignore that hoping the liner will distract from it <laughs> i just curled my lashes and now i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of mascara some days i really load up my lashes and get those full fat lashes but some days i like to keep it simple it really just depends on my mood to be honest second last step is lip liner and i just never feel complete unless i have my lips lined it really does complete the whole look for me to overline it just a little bit a lot of it <laughs> some days it's a matte lip day but i think today's a gloss day so i'm gonna add a little gloss <laughs> just a little mist <laughs> sometimes i skip a step sometimes i don't depends on my mood like i said this whole routine changes based on my mood and we are done this is my everyday makeup. I always feel so pretty with it. It's soft, it's natural, but it's also a little glam. It's perfect for every occasion, which is why it's always my go-to look. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and make sure you comment down below what videos you want to see from me next. Love ya!